Hello everyone, this video is again in continuation to our videos on uh, genetics. We have in our previous videos we have discussed, we, have, we were discussing crosses now. So we discussed sex link, then in last video we did uh, the monohybrid cross. In this we will talk about the dihybrid cross. Hope the homework which was given has been done by you. Again I am repeating. After every video, I am giving certain questions to you to do on your own. When you are done with those questions, either if it's a straight answer, you write in the comments. If it's not a straight answer, you do it on a paper, click a picture and share. I will re I'll respond to your answer. So let's talk about the dihybrid cross here. Thoda sa tedious hai. But if you have understood monohybrid cross, mushkil nahi hona chahiye. In this cross, I'll give you certain tips also to learn it. So, thoda sa be engrossed and listen to the uh, topic and please see the whole video so that you have that understanding. Dihybrid cross, when I say, I've not deleted this. The reason is that I'll just quickly recapitulate. When we are making any cross, there are certain rules to follow. Chromosomes are expressed with one alphabet only. We use only one alphabet as we did in monohybrid. If we are talking about tall and short, we are using, if alphabet T is being used, T hi use hoga, dominant or recessive, dono ke liye. Dominant trait is always written in capital alphabet. Recessive is always written in short alphabet. As the chromosomes are present, they are always, we are discussing about genes here, so they are present, chromosomes are present in pairs, so whatever we are writing, if we are writing T for tallness, so we'll write both T's, so we'll write them in pairs, so this is the third rule, so these are the rules which are followed whenever we make the cross. Again, when we make made a monohybrid cross, it explained law of dominance and segregation. Now we are going to do dihybrid cross, which is going to explain law of independent assortment. We will discuss the law once we get to the result. Let's see how we identify or how this question is asked in the paper and how you know that they are talking about a dihybrid cross. Let's see. Now, if they, if they say that find out the offsprings, when a tall plant, when I say plant, I'm talking about a pea plant. When a tall plant with, with um, green pods is crossed with a short plant. Now, when I talk about tallness here, to here uska alternate aega, as in kuch aur nahi sakte. Short plant with yellow pods pods as in pea pods because we are talking about pea phalia, jo bolte hai hum. so this is the question now how do we understand that this is a dihybrid cross when we read the statement they are talking about two characteristics tall plant bhi hai or green pods bhi hai and short plant bhi hai or yellow pods bhi hai that, is, that means they are talking about the height of the plant plus they are also talking about the color of the pod P pod. So, two characteristics. So, when there are two characteristics, it's a dihybrid cross. Let's understand how we make it. So, as we have give, we have been given a question, let's write the answer for this. Again, we are going to follow these rules. Mono di me dono me same rules rehenge. But again, kyuki do characters hai to do alphabets a jayenge. So, it says that a tall plant with green pods. Oh. <laughs> uh, is crossed with a short plant with yellow pods. Let's write first of all what uh, how will we represent them. So a tall plant with green pods because green pods is a dominant trait according to the chart. You have to please learn that chart by heart. Short plant is crossed with a with yellow pods, yellow pods. So here it is yellow pods, but we have written cap small g only because of the rule that only one characteristic, one alphabet is going to be taken. Same goes for short. So let's see first again, the first filial uh, generation or first F1 generation is to be calculated. Now, we have to keep what? Hum kya karte generally one characteristic or one parent ka is written on the one side and another genes are written on the other side. Yaha pe we are talking about both the traits. So that means we will take both the traits. Hum ye nahi bol rahe. Kai bache yaha galti karte hain. Yaha pe t lik denge, yaha g lik denge. 
प्लीज रिमेंबर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बोथ द कैरेक्टर हम बोल रहे हैं प्लांट टॉल भी है और ग्रीन पॉट्स भी हैं सो so, हमें दोनों ही डेमिट्स में दोनों ही ट्रेड्स आएंगे फाइन वो both the traits will be written so let's see what is the result that is uh, that we are getting so we get again uh, to his surprise he got the same result in all the boxes usko same result mila sare boxes mein se and what was the result that all the plants which appeared here these all the plants they were tall with the green pods why because again according to law of dominance in the presence of a dominant trait the recessive cannot express itself so har ek box mein agar aap dekhoge to ek dominant ek recessive dominant recessive dominant recessive karke present hai so the result which appeared in the f1 generation was this in all the boxes so because the result was this all the plants they were tall with green pods now again he did the same thing this is f1 generation so if someone asks you what is the result of f1 generation of a di hybrid cross it is this characters of course change yahan p ki jagah g ho sakta hai p ho sakta hai koi bhi aur trait ho sakta hai but the expression remains the same dominant and both will be dominants let's see again he did the same thing he crossed the two which he got so how do we do that again this is f1 generation we are going to do f2 generation selfing is being done this is crossed with this again what do we get now here in the cross is thoda sa elaborative thoda sa tedious isko thoda chota kar dete hain we need space here so this is crossed with this let's see ab yahan pe i'll give you a trick to understand how do we write it agar yahan pe aur yahan jo likhoge agar wo galat ho jayega to pura cross galat ho jayega so let's see the tip is hum koi bhi pehla ek alphabet lenge chahe we take t or g we can take any of it so it is capital capital small small we are just talking about t here not g so you what do you need to learn capital capital small small capital capital small small and then we are going to write the another alphabet capital small capital small capital small capital small ye do lines hame rat leni hai capital capital small small pehli baar ek alphabet ke liye capital small capital small dusri baar dusre alphabet ke liye and then jo bhi hamara yahan result aaya usko hum pura yahan aise ke aise hi we'll copy it the same thing will be copied here and now we start with the cross making the cross is easy the only thing which is difficult is that how do you write the gametes for this if you write wrong gametes your whole answer gets wrong let's write now now here in there is a contradiction kai bolte hain isko aise aise ikattha nahi likh sakte kai kehte hain t's ko ikattha likho g's ko ikattha likho so it is up to you because in all the books it is t ikattha g ikattha i'll write it uh, like that only so what do we get here capital t capital t G. you please solve it with me i'm not uh, i'm i'll just quickly solve it for you so that we don't we have to complete that again capital and small g's capital t small t capital g and small thoda sa careful rehna hota hai isko likhne ke time sometimes when you take the things out things go wrong again small t is capital g small g and here we have all smalls now this is what we get we are going to now calculate ab agla tip this is the first tip how to we how do we write the gametes the second tip is now we are going to search some characters in the box how do we search this this is fixed please learn it like that in all the boxes first of all we will search for the boxes which have both dominants second we will search for the boxes jahan t dominant ek dominant hai other is recessive third we are going to search for the boxes jahan pe jo pehle dominant tha wo ab recessive ho gaya jo recessive tha wo dominant hai aur last hame wo boxes dekhne hain jahan sab kuch 
is recessive. So we are going to search for four traits here. Jo box ek bari check ho jayega, usko dabara nahi dekhenge. Let's see. First of all, we will search for the boxes where both dominants are there. I am going to mark it. So it is, uh, let's say we mark it with a tick. So capital T, small, uh, capital G, capital T, capital G, capital T, capital G, capital T, capital G. Here also, here also, here also, it's here, it's here, done. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So nine boxes have both dominants. Ab, ye nine ka ten nahi ho sakta. Nine, nine ka eight ho sakta. It is fixed. Agar aapka nine ka ten aara, it means aapka ye cross galat hai. Fine, so you have to redo the whole thing again. If this ratio comes out to be wrong, this is a kind of cross checking. This is a maths mein cross check karte na, mara answer theek hai ki nahi. This is a kind of cross checking. Now we are going to search for the boxes where one capital T is there and cap small G is there, but we are not going to see the boxes jo humne pehle se mark karke rakhte hain. We are going to see the boxes which are unmarked. So let's see T's. So it is one, two. We are seeing capital T. Three. So three boxes have capital T and small g in it. We are we have marked it. This is fixed again. It can't be four, it can't be two. We are now going to see where small t and capital G are present. Let's see. So small t capital G one, two, and three. So there are three boxes where we have small t and capital G, and again we have the last box. It is fixed again, which has, there is only one, which has all recessives. So this is, what do, we what do we have now? This is the phenotypic ratio of a dihybrid cross. That is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. This is fixed. So, how do we remember this? What happens to the confusion? They start writing the ratio and then start looking at it. No. How do we find it? We have to put it in the first box. The first box should be both dominants. The second box should be one dominant, one recessive. The third should be the dominant becomes recessive, recessive dominant. And the last should be both. And then we find out and we come to this conclusion. Again, you need to understand or you must understand what are nines. Nine are the plants which are tall with green pods. What are three? Three are the plants here which are tall with yellow pods. What are three again? Three are the plants which are short with green pods. What is one? One is the plant, both recessive, that is short with yellow pods. So this is the result which we get in a dihybrid cross. All the things remain the same. Nothing to be added, nothing to be deleted. Again, I'll give you a question. I'll give you two questions here. You do it the same way. If you do, do it on the paper, click a picture and share it in the comments. So the question is, find the offsprings when, when, a, um, when a plant with with um green seeds no, green and round seeds is crossed with a plant with yellow i'm sorry one second here is the trick it is yellow and round and this is green and round and wrinkled here the tip is yellow seeds according to mendel were dominant jabki hame green peeds milte but kyunki wo dominant bola hai to hum isko dominant lenge yahan pe and then round seeds were dominant green according to mendel is recessive color and wrinkled seeds so please make a cross for this again i'll give you another one taaki aapki zyada practice ho jaye because ye wala question bahut baar aata hai paper mein so let's see offsprings when a plant 
with um, violet flowers and green pods is crossed with plant with white flowers and uh, yellow pods yellow pods please do this too and once you are done click a picture and upload it in the comments i'll respond back so this is all about dihybrid trust in our next video we will start with the next chapter that is absorption by roots sara chapter detail mein karenge definitions alag se fir experiments and then important questions which are asked in the paper so please watch uh, continuously because we are now in continuation nothing to be missed nothing to be skipped please tell it to your juniors and seniors ki continuation mein videos will be made ma'am will be touched i'll be taking live sessions also live classes also so your classes will also be conducted for a time may i'll put up an ad for that also if you want individual classes so be in touch please keep watching liking sharing subscribing thank you